Hey everyone, my name's Ali, and welcome, or welcome back to my channel, Mindful Living. I'm finally back with a brand new video on my channel today, and I'm really excited to show you guys a full garden tour for June. I started sowing my seeds back in early April, and over the last couple months, I've been slowly transitioning everything outdoors. If you're new here, I grow on my balcony every spring, summer, and fall, and I only have 84 square feet of space. I'm always trying to find new and unique ways to grow in the little space that I have. And this year, I've actually added more plants than ever. I have 38 different plants growing on my balcony. So let's go ahead and get started with the tour. Okay, so the first plant I'm showing here is tomatoes. I am growing three types of determinate varieties of tomatoes, which is Rutgers, a Roma tomato, and a Regina tomato. All three of these are going to grow more compact and they'll reach about three to four feet tall and then begin to set all their fruit. I always like to grow determinate tomatoes in my container garden because I am short on space. It's my first year growing Rutgers. I have done Regina and Roma tomatoes in the past. I'm really excited to be growing three different types this year. It's the first time I've done that and tomatoes are my favorite thing to grow so I definitely like to have multiple plants in the garden. I did plant this one here a little bit later than the other two that are obviously way more established. This one was planted a few weeks later and I've grown Regina tomatoes in my container garden for the past two years and I really enjoy this type. Moving on to eggplant, this is a Black Beauty variety. I started this from seed indoors around mid-April and I've just transitioned it outside into the garden. I was waiting for temperatures to get a little bit higher as eggplants do love lots of heat. Last year, if you've been following along, I did not grow an eggplant in my garden and I did really miss it. I've planted this in a really large size container, the biggest one I have, as I know it can get pretty big when it grows. Next up, I'm showing my peppers. I do grow a lot of peppers in my garden, so I'm gonna take you through all the different types that I am growing this year. First, I have a habanero, and this is a spicy habanero. I do plan to make some homemade hot sauce with this, so stay tuned for that video that will be coming on my channel later. Here, I'm showing a red baron. This is a red sweet bell pepper. Here, I have two different types of banana peppers. I have a hot and a sweet banana pepper. Both of them are doing really well so far, although I do find that the hot one is growing a little bit faster. This one was a last minute addition to my garden. I did buy this one as a transplant and the variety is called Orange Juice Sweet. And this type is supposed to be a quite vigorous growing plant that is gonna bear loads of sweet, small orange peppers. And the last pepper I'm growing up in a hanging basket here, and this is a cayenne pepper. This again will be a spicy pepper, and it's my first year growing this one, so I'll keep you guys posted with how it does. Hanging next to my cayenne pepper, I am growing some strawberries. This variety is called Ruby Ann, and it is an ever-bearing variety of strawberries. It does have little pink flowers which are really pretty and I do have lots of blooms popping up on this and my first strawberry hanging there. I'm also growing two different types of peas in the garden this spring as well. One is a snow pea snowflake variety and the other is a dwarf sugar pea. Here I'm showing the sugar pea. It's really taken off. It's growing much faster than the snow pea and I'm already having some flowers pop up. Next to it is the snowflake snow pea and it's a little bit slower. Both of these I am growing up a trellis so I just kind of let the vines intertwine through the trellis. And yeah, here's one of my first peas that I have growing here. Moving on to cauliflower, this is an amazing variety of cauliflower, that's the name of it, and I have grown cauliflower one other time in the garden, and that was during my fall garden. If you've been following along on my channel for a while, in the fall I grew cauliflower, but I was cut short on the growing season as it suddenly got really cold. So this year I decided to plant this in the early spring, and I did purchase this one as a transplant as well, so it is pretty far along at this point. This is the most recent footage I've taken, and you can see just how large it's gotten. This type of cauliflower grows self-wrapping leaves that kind of wrap around the head and you can already see the little cauliflower growing in the middle. A few more weeks and I'll be ready to harvest this. 
Next I am showing my cucumber plants and I do have four cucumber plants in my container garden this year. I have two per container and both of these containers are very large. I would say roughly 20 to 25 inches wide. These were all started indoors from seed and I transitioned them outside about a week ago. First I am showing the pickle bush cucumbers and beside it there I am growing the bush champion variety. These are two different types so the pickle bush is going to grow more small and compact like a pickle and the bush champion is going to be a larger size cucumber. I grew this last year and I got anywhere from 8 to 10 inch cucumbers. Both of these are doing quite well. It has been a little bit rainy the last few days so they've been getting a lot of water. So yeah, make sure you stay tuned on my channel and hit subscribe so you can see how my cucumbers continue to grow into the summer months. Next I'll be sharing my lettuces or leafy greens and I do grow quite a lot of lettuces in my container garden. Starting with my stackable lettuce container here, I'm growing in this Little Gem, Butter Crunch, and Prize Head Lettuce. On the top here, I'm growing Little Gem, if you remember my video from last year. On the sides of the container, I am doing a Prize Head, which is a red leaf lettuce. And in the bottom, I'm doing some more Little Gem as well. Little Gem is a type of romaine lettuce. And then underneath my stackable planter, I have more greens growing. This is arugula, some butter crunch, and this is also a red leaf butter crunch. And then lastly is spinach there. Do pack a lot of leafy greens into this one small space here. This area of my garden gets about two to four hours of sunlight daily. And last I have some iceberg lettuce. This is my first time growing iceberg lettuce. I do have it in its own container because it can get quite large. And this is about four weeks of growth so far. Finishing off my leafy greens with kale, and this is a dwarf green curly variety. Kale can easily bolt in hot temperatures, so this variety is more slow to bolt, and I'm able to grow it into the early summer by keeping it in a location that receives some afternoon shade. Here I am showing my newly planted beets. So these have only been outdoors for a few weeks now and they're quite small. The variety is called a Better Rave Perfect 3. Beets don't need a very deep container, so choose a wider one like this so you're able to plant even more. I have about eight beets growing in this one container. And last but not least is my herbs. So I have this one hanging planter that has a bunch of different herbs in it. I'm growing parsley, purple sage, oregano, lemon thyme, and rosemary, all of which I love cooking with. On top of this, I do have a few standalone containers. Here is some fresh basil. This has gotten pretty large so far, and basil is a sun lover, so keep it in a really sunny location. I'm also growing some dill. I absolutely love to cook with dill. It's probably one of my favorite herbs to cook with. And again, this is doing really well, but dill definitely likes the cooler temperatures, so I do leave it in a spot that gets some shade. And followed by green onions. These are just a bunch of green onions I have growing in a small container. I'm also growing cilantro in the spring and some chives. I grow chives every year. They always come back in this one container I planted them in a few years ago. I hope if you guys enjoyed this full garden tour for June that you'll leave me a like, leave me a comment down below, let me know how your garden is going this year, and of course make sure to hit the subscribe button, it really does help to support me in the growth of my channel. Thank you so much for watching, as always I'll see you in my next one.